Hey y'all, this is Tequila again with Southern Twang. I know it's been a long time since I actually shot a video of a yard sale haul or a thrift haul or any kind of haul. I've been busy working on my masters, I graduated, now I'm ready to get back into the swing of things. So, this past Saturday, I went to a, a yard sale and I found um, a couple things that I'm very excited about. So I just want to jump right in and share. So first what I have is this Dooney and Burke um, purse. And it's the one that's made out of fabric and of course the handles are um, made out of leather, if you can look here. Now this one is really grimy, as you can see it's kind of worn on the bottom, on the, the ends. But I only paid $5 for it and I thought that that was a real steal for $5 and it still has the the little um, medallion on it, whatever you call that, the, um, the fob I think it's called. Everything's still there. So I'm probably gonna put that on my Southern Soul Thrifting online thrift shop. So if you're interested, um, take a look there at Southern, without the O, soulthrifting.com. So it also, um, it didn't come with it, but they had the, the wallet that goes with the matching wallet. And so as you can see, I only paid $3 for that, which was a steal as well. And so I'm just gonna open it up for you here. Take a look, it's still in pretty good condition. So I'm thinking about having this clean, and I mean, I would try myself, but I don't want to damage it. I mean, the easiest way I could think of is to throw it in a wash, but that might damage the leather. I'm thinking about trying to see if I can have it cleaned at a, um, a dry cleaners it, um, if it will cost you know something that's affordable to pay or not so I'll probably check into that if you have any suggestions on how to clean um, fabric purses let me know I did take a look on Dooney Burke's website and they do give instructions about cleaning with um, mild soap and warm water and using a cotton cloth. They also said that you can use non-sodium seltzer to clean and using a toothbrush and some talcum powder. I've never tried any of those things, but if you have, drop me a line in the comment box down below and let me know. So next up, I have this cute little shirt. It is by um, Nikki Beaky. I don't know, I've never heard that brand. I'm not very familiar with it. You can see it there. But the shirt was only two bucks, and I like it because it's just, I don't even know if it's linen. Let me take a look and see, because I didn't. Yeah, it's actually 100% linen. So that's what drew me in. I'm drawn to quality. Um, after you thrift for a while, you learn how to spot things visually without even having to touch them, and you know that they're quality. And so this is a really cute, so I'm gonna show it to you. It's a button down front and it has the sleeves that you can scrunch up and they have the button here or if you want you can wear them long sleeve like this. Um, I like the details in the back. It has buttons going almost all the way down and you can unbutton that a little at the end and create like a little venting in the back. But this is um, real cool to wear in the summertime where I live in Southeast Georgia it gets real hot so you want something like linen to keep you cool. And again, that was just two bucks. Now this top, I think is really cute. It is by Doe and Ray. I've never heard of that brand either. Let me get it together. Okay, so it's just a really cute sheer top. And it has like that little wrap thing going on in the front. And the sleeve, is, it's kind of like, like this, I don't know how to explain that. It's not a full sleeve, but it's kind of sewn together at the end to give you that flowy kind of a feel. And this shirt I purchased for three bucks. Three bucks, three bucks, three bucks. Okay? And it normally goes for $26. I should have asked where they got it from because I've never seen the brand and I like to learn new brands so that when I spot them and they don't have a price tag on, I kind of get a feel for um, what they should be sold for and also what store they came from. 
So if you know anything about Doe and Ray, holler at me. I um, looked on eBay, I saw some comps that were pretty low. I'm actually gonna be keeping those two tops because I do love them. The next top that I found was, let's see, it's called Lovin', Love In. This looks like something that you could probably find at TJ Maxx or your Ross. It's real cute, it has that um, I don't know if you call that the dolman or the bat wing type of sleeve. And I thought it was so cute. But then when I was taking a picture of it, I noticed that it has a hole. So, yeah, they got me on that one. But I only paid two bucks. So I don't know if I'm going to try to just, you know, fix it. Because I love the shape of it or throw it away, I don't know. Now the next find I really, really like, this is a, um, a snakeskin leather belt. So I'm sorry to all you people who are PETA people. Yeah, this is real snakeskin, as you can see. And it feels like snakeskin. But I love the belt, not because of snakeskin, but because of the overall look of it. Um, it has this, loop here that goes in the back and this slides in and then this part goes here and you get the picture I'm not buckling it in right but it's very fashionable let's see if I can try it on it's a little too small for me uh, but I may choose to keep it for that day when I slim down enough. It'll be cute on top of a, a nice little cardigan, you know, or maybe on top of a cute little dress. I'm gonna suck my stomach in because I'm on camera. <laughs> but I like it, I like the details. Very fashion forward for me. And I paid, gosh, I think I paid maybe $2 for this belt. It wasn't much. So, I saw these little pants from my son. They're Old Navy, nothing to write home about. Just showing you my complete haul. Just a pair of pants that he could throw on. And the teacher in me had to um, look in the DVDs and see what kind of animation films they have. I got Charlotte's Web, which is still in the wrapper for $1. And I got Spookly, the Square Pumpkin, so they're on, um, you know, Halloween or Harvest time. We kindergarten teachers like to teach to things, so Spookly will be a good little video to put on for the kids after we have talked about pumpkins and, and tied it into math because of the shape, and maybe even read the book. So, that is all I have for you today. It feels good being back in front of the camera. I hope that you guys will subscribe. I hope that you will visit me on my um, my blog, which is southerntwang.com, southern with Alfie O. And if you feel inspired to buy something and check out what I have on my online retail store, head over to southernsoulthrifting.com and check us out. Love y'all, bye.